Greetings Internet, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 5 of my walkthrough of the demo of Chapter 3 of Momus Quest Paradox RPG. This time we're finally going to Helgondo, the continent of monsters. So once you get close to the northern continent, or at least the lands area of the northern continent, you'll trigger an event for the actual approach. Because flying Galda to the Mawal Castle and landing on the front porch would be too easy. <clears throat> We've arrived at Helgondo, the continent of monsters. Do you intend to march on the Mawal Castle? Like this. Okay, head for the Mawal Castle, or don't go yet. Okay, yeah, I might as well. I see. It's time at last. But we cannot fly Galda close to the Mawal Castle carelessly. The air defense net of the Mauer Castle's surrounding airspace is extraordinarily dangerous. The Wyvern Girls' air defense squads are always watching the skies, you see. That's for sure. If we approach like this, we'll be shot down, won't we? We land and debark and debark somewhere far from the castle. Then, we head for the Mauer Castle over land. Okay, Galda. Lower your altitude. And with that, touch down in the southern region of the monster continent. Quay! Galda, lowering her altitude, descends to the lightly guarded southern region of the continent. Good. It seems we haven't been spotted. Let's continue towards the Mao Castle on foot. Dray! Galda is settling down in the pocket Mao Castle. Stay in there and be good for a while, okay? You're too big. Too big. You would stand out. Dray! So then. Before going to the Mao Castle, I want to rest a bit. Since there's a small shrine near here, let's head there first. We proceed to the east. There are guideposts here and there, so follow their directions. Yeah, they'll hunt down aerial invaders, but they leave the guideposts in case terrestrial invaders get lost. First off, shrine to the east, right? Well then, let's go. We're going to that shrine. For real. Lazaro, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Hmm, don't look like nothing to me. So, obviously, we're going west. And yeah, there's nothing important here. The centaur girl will block the way. But that's not the way we're going anyway, and we won't fight her. This place will be important later. Probably leads to the dark god world after all. And ignoring the guideposts and the cave looking appearance and also that shrine looking building over there. This is the shrine! This place. It's exactly the same structure as that cave we passed through in the past parallel world. The structure is unchanged, but the passage should be blocked somewhere along the way. Let's just collect the treasure chests. Oh, this isn't the shrine at all. We've been deceived. Anyway, there is treasure. At the bottom, there's an old weapon of Alice's. Yep. When she was causing trouble once, Tamamo confiscated and hid it here. But, plot-wise, nothing to do. Jeez, we finally arrived. The sister here, although a monster, is a devoted believer of Elias. Being cooperative with heroes, she should gladly lend us shelter. This place, it's a church, isn't it? 
It's nice of them to allow a one so close to the Ma'o castle. What you believe is an individual freedom. As long as you don't oppose the Ma'o, the Ma'o army won't get involved. So then, let's bring our request to the sister. We've got to prepare for a fierce battle. So let's rest well today. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's any sake here. It's going to be a dull night. <laughs> so, we came this far. Hmm. Oh my, a human hero and his entourage. As a humble believer, Elias, I welcome you. Well met. We are tired. Sorry, but we need you to provide shelter for us. However, I don't know that my hospitality will be satisfactory. For, you see, it has been over twenty years since any humans have visited. Be that as it may, let the light shine upon the great hero. Luker and his group fully recover. Mm -hmm. You. You look just like that young hero of the group that came back then. It, huh? Me? No, it's just the chance or semblance of strangers. Further, it's been so long since, my memory could be mistaken. Nope, he's no stranger. Luca here is that guy's son. Huh? In no way, are you... the young warrior from back then? To think that you would visit here again. Your appearance has changed so much I didn't recognize you. Lazaro, what's the meaning of this? Don't tell me you made it you you made it this far in your adventure before. Yeah, that's right. This place was our journey's final destination. No way. To think that a human party made it this far. The hero Marcellus was more powerful than I supposed. We didn't have Galda in our time. Took a whole damn year crossing those mountains. Uphill both ways in the snow, right? It was no average hardship. We did well not to lose any of us four crossing those mountains. But why didn't you tell us that you got all the way to the monster continent? Ta da! Well, he couldn't tell you, you know? You're the White Rabbit. What are you doing here? My role is to guide you, after all. Once more, here you'll learn a truth that had eluded you. Here, this way, this way. Hey, hey, wait. She ran underground after her. Okay. The underground is pretty spacious. It's fortunate that there aren't any monsters. It seems she descended to a lower floor. After her. <laughs> Entering pursuit mode. I won't let her get away. Not much to see here. For some reason we can't get to that one over there, so let's try this one. Oh, they're all connected. And we can get trapped over there. It, well, it's a dead end anyway, it's not exactly a trap. Hmm, no white rabbit anywhere. 
Guess you got away again. Better give up and go home. Or I guess we can interact with this grave she led us to. Where did that white rabbit go? And there's a grave. In such a place. The name's fade, but fading, but you can just barely read it. Mm. The hero, Marcellus Hine, rests here. Marcellus? No way, that's the same as, name as my dad. Isn't it someone else with the same name? After all, Marcellus returned to, their to the village after his adventure. Yeah, right. If not, I wouldn't have been born. No. Resting there is Marcellus himself. Eh. No way. Born in Iliasville, son of the innkeep, and my best friend since we were kids. The hero who, intent on adventure, finally arrived at the monster continent. The one sleeping here is, beyond any doubt, Marcellus himself. But that wasn't your father. Just, what are you saying? Then who was my dad? No, your dad was certainly Marcellus, but a different Marcellus from the one that I knew. Just what are you saying? Explain so he can understand. Well then, I'll explain. It started with... Butt out, rabbit. It's my obligation to tell this. <laughs> it was five days after we got to the monster continent. We rested up at this shrine. Then, just after we'd arranged ourselves, we, unluckily, met those guys. Mark Ellis? You there, who are you? You seem to be Yoma, hiding unusual power. Lazaro? My arms are trembling. What kind of monsters are these? Oh, a human hero group, are you? You seem quite well practiced, don't you? Oh, come on, what a bother. When we still don't know anything about this world yet. While en route to the Maul Ma Castle, we met three succubi. From their disquieting presence, it was no mistake. This gang would be doing ill to mankind. We were confident of it. While we're still at this stage, we re don't really want to act. How about we let you go for now? Marcellus? That's our line. If you swear not to bring harm to innocent humans, we'll let you flee here. Boy, what a hero. <clears throat> There's no way we could swear that. We came here to kill all of you. Well, she's honest. Marcellus? In that case, we'll cut you down here. Lazaro, Karen, Marin, let's go. Uh, it can't be helped, can it? Well, it's just for humans. Even stealing their lives shouldn't have an effect on history. Then, I'll be your opponent. Out of respect for your courage, I'll give you an honorable death. Not violating you or toying with you. At the time, we had no way of knowing. Our opponents were three succubi sisters resurrected from ancient times. Marcellus was in the strongest class of men, even among heroes. 
But even so, it wasn't an opponent that humans could stand against. Lazaro. Th this can't be true. Marcellus, in one hit. Karen. This is bad. Marcellus isn't breathing. Recovery magic. Please, breathe again. It's useless. I've ended his life, as promised, without suffering. Already, revival is impossible. You three remaining, don't be lonely. We'll send you to the same place. Well, plot-wise, they are sending them to a place. But in the moment, the three of them probably took it as a typical villain death threat. Marlin. <clears throat> These aren't enemies we can win against. We must retreat right now. Lazaro. There's no way we can run. We fight for vengeance. They'll pay for Marcellus. The real bad bit came next. Although we didn't even understand what happened at the time. Type 4 severed world contact. A critical paradox has occurred. Well, well now. Type 4, you say. That's a first. I only know about the types 1 through 3. <clears throat> hey, you gotta be kidding me. No way. A large failure has occurred in history. Apoptosis xx 0 ichi Data transfer to F10000 X137Y580 complete. Executing correction program. Apoptosis XX0002 data transfer to F10000 X137Y580 complete. I'll note, this world is F0000 here. I mean, the two of them both called it out as that. But at the end of Chapter 2, which is 20 years later in the timeline, it's F00001. So it goes from 10,000 to 1. Is it a typo by the game developer? Or could the worlds get reorganized dynamically over time? Only time will tell. Also, it's important to note, Sonya executes a correction program. I'll bring that up again later. No way! Apotolsis! And XX types! Two of the strongest rank! We only killed one person, why are these kind popping out? Adramelec, activate. Commencing pre-singularity alpha's complement phase. Sonia Chaos, activate. Executed correction phase, equalizing time space Time space tremors. Fun fact. This thing announces her name here, and a few years later, Karen would name her daughter after her. Weird, huh? Astronaut Morgan. We will destroy those two at once. Uh, yes. And in the Battle of Hewn Humans, unfolding before our eyes, we were completely ignored. I, dumbfounded, gazed at the battle. Behind me, Karen kept casting revival magic on Marcellus' corpse. And... Uh, 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 somehow, we were able to destroy both of them. But they get stronger each time they regenerate. I don't know if it'll go with this well next time. Spoiler, it won't. Our actions were excessively rash. To think that by killing one human it would turn out like this. Here, I'll provide a supplement to the story. Disruptions on the order of killing one human wouldn't go this far. 
to history, it's a small wound. Its self-repairing process would heal it. But in this case, historically speaking, Lilith happened to kill the single worst human she could. Luca is the hero who defeated the goddess Ilius, as history had it. Meaning, it's no overstatement to say that he is the most historically important, important person ever. Because she killed Luca's father before he could be born, she can, created the greatest paradox that could be considered. As a result, two of the highest class Apotolces infiltrated this world. This became the cause of a big twist. Uh, and also note here, she tells us that the Apotolces caused the big twist, not killing Marcellus itself. Just what? Oh, right, I gotta tell you this is Lazaro since there's in the picture. <clears throat> Lazaro. Just what is happening? Caught him. It's not good. Marcellus. He won't come back to life. With my magic power, it's too late. Hmm. So, how do we clean up the humans? There's still the three remaining. We leave them as is. From now on, we avoid acting rashly. And we investigate fully. This has become an unthinkable situation, hasn't it? Just fixing the space-time distortions here... We may have set ourselves back by several years. Whatever difficulties we face, it's for the Dark God. Let's accept it, for it is, in turn, for the sake of the world. Hmm. Violence is forbidden for the time being, huh? Jeez. The little sisters left. Lazaro. Karen. Marcellus. No. What do we do now? There's no way. No, oh, Marcel. <laughs> Sorry, Lazaro. <clears throat> There's no way, Marcellus. Karen, to think that we would enter Marcellus in such a place. Lazaro, it's the only thing to do. He's got no family waiting for him. For his bones to be buried at his journey's end, that's what Marcellus wanted. Marlin, even saying it's his own wish, it's a lonesome fate to leave him behind in the underground of this shrine. Lazaro, with this, our journey ends too. It wasn't bad, Marcellus. Marcellus, everyone, what are you doing here? Lazaro. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> Caught in. Uh, uh, Marcellus, but that can't. Marcellus. I haven't got any memories of the last few days. We stayed at this shrine, but after that. Uh, so, if you don't remember, how do you know it's been a few days? Did the sister Lami, I tell you? You must have confused the hell out of her, too. Mark Ellis. Ugh, my memories are so hazy. Uh, anyway, whose grave is that? 
Mark Ellis returned all of a sudden. Right after we buried his most certainly dead body. We didn't understand what was going on at all. He, he wasn't a fake or anything. It was definitely Mark Ellis himself. In the end, we came to think that Mark Ellis hadn't died. In which case, nobody should have been buried in that grave, but we, we were too scared. We couldn't verify it. If we had dug up the grave and Mark Ellis's body came out, then just who was this guy who showed up afterward? This is how our journey ended. Still burdened with the doubt, isn't this Mark Ellis a different person? You know, at the beginning of the game, you can read a couple of letters in Lazaro's house saying he's a different person and absolutely don't let him see the grave. Don't know why that would, he would keep those in his house, referring to these events, but this is the context behind those. It's just what does this mean? Were there two Markelises? Markelises. Uh, wait, should the plural of Markelis be Markeli? Hmm. After that, Markelis went back to Eliasville. Karen returned to her hometown and got married and had Sonia. Okay, so was her hometown Eliasville? It's described like they went to different places, but Sonia and Luke are childhood friends after all. That details right. Anyway. I didn't return to my hometown, Iliusville. With old man Marlin, I settled down in Goldport. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I was avoiding Marcellus. My return to Iliusville was quite some time after that. Dad died on the monster continent over 20 years ago. And even now, is sleeping here. Uh, then, just who was my dad? The other one of my dad. That appeared right afterward. We couldn't tell you this story. Even we didn't know how to do it, how to take it. But on our journey with you, we've learned the back end of the world. It involves parallel worlds or some such. Ain't that right, rabbit? So then, from here on I can talk, right? Now first, I want you to remember this. History has a self-repairing process. Even if a paradox occurs, it will restore things to the original history. It's not anyone's will that this be so, it's that kind of law of physics. It flattens the ripples of chaos converging and diverging. Now, nah, well, I'll abridge the complexities of the principle. And nevertheless, there's a limit to history's self-repairing process. If the paradox is too big, it can't correct it. For example, the human body can naturally heal light wounds, right? But when it comes to serious injuries, the regeneration of cells can't keep up. No, wait, I object. That's not an example at all. What you're doing is positing an analogy, not an example. Get it right. I see. No, 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 again. Analogy, not example. Somebody call her out on this. So then, the case at hand. The human Marcellus, so important to history, was lost. As you know, the lost subject was the father of the most important person in the true history. With him lost, history cannot be allowed to continue. 
At that point, history regenerated Marcellus. You just got done telling us that big paradoxes can't be self-repaired. Something's fishy with this explanation. Taken with her previous statement that the incursion of the Apotosis Apotosis caused the big twist, and Sonia Chaos executing our correction program, I think those two's actions were also a direct causal factor here. Although the Succubi sisters killed them, I think they set, set things in motion to save the world for the time being. And if our quest is successful, all the worlds for good. But moving on. From multiple parallel worlds that had already disappeared, relevant data was collected. And Marcellus's bodily information was copied into this world. Consequently, the regenerated Marcellus contained data from multiple worlds. He's a unique case, regenerated from fragments of various parallel worlds. Thanks to this, Marcellus became an existence subject to multiple worlds. He became the one and only life form that could perceive other parallel worlds. In the beginning, he accessed parallel worlds in an unintentional way. Coming to him like visions, he would happen to see things from parallel worlds. After returning to Iliusville, he seems to have suffered terribly from it. Well, he didn't let anyone know about this problem with himself. Not in the least. That's where he met the fallen angel Lucifina. And like that, eventually, Luca was born. In other words, I'm the son of other worlds as Markellis is Markelli. Alright. Your father was a patchwork originating from many worlds. He was able to draw knowledge from parallel worlds and had a high affinity with chaos. You're the son of that kind of father, and an originary angel. You are an unbelievably rare case, you are. Therefore, Luca got the ability to access other worlds. That power is something his father passed down to him. You know, it did happen a few times that Luca saw visions of other worlds. In Enrica, he saw a vision of Mikaela, and another vision of Mikaela on the summit of Mount Atmos. And mm, I'm sure there was a third. Eh, maybe it'll come to me later. Anyway, the visions are a thing. Well, that's how Marcellus got a family, but his anguish continued. In his visions of other worlds, scenes of destruction became more frequent, and Marcellus had a premonition that this world was on the same path as well. To protect this world, and to protect his family, Marcellus set out on a journey once again. Through the introduction of his wife, Lucifina, Marcellus met Mikaela. Through piles of research, they grasped the existence of parallel worlds. And then Marcellus became a traveler of the parallel worlds for the purpose of cutting down the causes of destabilization and the connections between the worlds. Boy, that sounds complicated. For years and decades and centuries, he continued to fight journeying across the various parallel worlds, he endlessly wielded his sword. And that's the reason for that strength of his, and that body. But why did Marcellus kill my mother, kill the Mao? That's because that's how it went in the true history. Alice Fees the 15th was killed by the hero Marcellus. Further, the Maos themselves focused the world on destruction. 
Mark Ellis recognized that. That's why Mark Ellis keeps killing the Maos of parallel worlds. He's gotten the alias, the Mao Killer. Uh, who calls him that? Seriously, to the Maos that he kills, he's what we call an out-of-context problem. The time they realize he is a problem is the moment he shows up to kill them and succeeds. No need to call him nothing. The Maos themselves focus the world on destruction. What do you mean by that? Hmm. You should ask that question of Mark Ellis himself. So that's something he says and not you, White Rabbit. <laughs> okay then. So, that's the truth about Mark Ellis. What will you do now, Luca? I'm going to meet my father. That's all there is to it. I have to meet him, no matter what. Well, that's how it is. I too must ask him his true intentions. Why did he kill my mother? Depending on his answer, I'll... Drop an incomplete sentence on him? What? Hmm. With the secret of my father finally come to light, I was devastated. What broke the deep silence was a scream from the upper levels. What are you? Somebody, save me! That voice, is it the sister of the shrine? Is she being attacked by someone? Let's go save her right away. Looks like an urgent matter's come up. We've just finished our talk, so I'll excuse myself here. Alright, damsel in distress. Solid way to rouse a hero out of a depressive funk. Mm hmm. Oops. I have accidentally gone in precisely the opposite direction. And I abandoned her to her fate. How horrible. Or maybe it's one of those events that'll wait for us whenever we're ready. Boy, I hope it's the latter. I'd feel really gu guilty about that. Oh, phew. S stay away. Angel. Angel. This guy. Isn't he the one who attacked us in the fairy forest? Yeah, the graphics changed a bit, but yeah, you can see a resemblance, can't you? But we definitely finished him off then. This dialogue goes a little differently. It narrowed it for you. Why is he reviving? Angel. Oh, he turns to face us. We're a better, better angel than the sisters, huh? <clears throat> angel. 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 Destroy. Angel. 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 Destroy. 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 <clears throat> Man, I'd forgotten how compelling this guy's dialogue is. As expected, he's attacking us. We've beaten him before. We won't lose this time either. Ah, you're telling me. Angel. The armored berserker turns into particles and disappears. This time, we did defeat him, you think? I think not. Surely he'll revive again. From our location, quite close to the northeast, I feel a holy um, energy that resembles that of the armored warrior just now. Probably it's the sinner sealed prison. There, Iliasama sealed the terrible heretic as the teachings have been passed down. 
that armored man just now. That was unmistakably. Elias, what exactly did you do to him? Oh, is he your toy to play with? <clears throat> so, what do we do? Should we go to that sealed, sinner sealed prison? We've no choice but to go. If something like that revives repeatedly, it's a danger to everyone. Uh huh. How convenient that it only attacks us, though. This sister Lummy lives right next to its respawn point and not only hasn't been killed, but it seems she's never even been confronted by it. Well, if only two have come out so far. Eh, we could chalk that up to coincidence. <clears throat> I don't know what we can do as we are now, but if it can be sealed, we need to seal it. So then, let's go to the Sinner Sealed Prison. As I recall, it's a shrine nearby, to the northeast. Once more you proved truly reliable in recalling directions that were given to you entire minutes ago. Good job, Luca. So, before the Mao Castle, we got another objective. We've got to seal the Armored Berserker at this place, called the Sinner's Sealed Prison. Hmm, okay then. Well, well, what did we hear? A forest. Very out of place on this continent. Which raises the obvious question. How is this continent's population supported? There's an entire castle's worth of people up north, and to say nothing of the roaming monster girls who would attack if I didn't prevent all encounters. What do they eat? There are no fields, no rivers. Just this tiny forest that might not even have game to hunt in it. The logistics of supporting this po of populating this continent are very, very suspicious. Ah, uh, alright, I'm supposed to go in, am I? This place has seen better days. And there aren't even any treasure chests. Just this thing. This is a sealed tombstone, in it? This is a multi-layered soul seal. I'm sealing this great sinner here. So he can't even reincarnate. Just what did he do to be punished so, I wonder? Uh, the great sinner's name carved in the monument is... Heinrich Hein? That's the hero, Heinrich. Luca used to read stories of the hero Heinrich when he was a kid. Inspiring him to be a hero and now... Well, well. It does not seem that it's another person with the same name. Just why did Elias seal Heinrich's soul? Someone's dissatisfied. Angel. Angel. Hold on, it's already revived it. It revived. Destroy the the, the angel. What? No way, there's multiples of them? Angel, angel, angel. Destroy, 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 destroy. <clears throat> I think you guys get the picture. Ah, they're attacking. Angel. The armored berserkers turn into particles and disappear. Why is there so many of them? It's not just reviving, but multiplying. Excuse me. It's the one sealed here. 
the thoughts of this Heinrich person. The seal growing thin. I've let those thoughts leak out. He bears a hatred towards angels that is simply terrifying. Spreading into the surroundings, it adheres to the wholly elemental component of the atmosphere. What is created by this is that armored berserker. It's a crystallized form of holy element, driven berserk by thoughts of hatred. In other words, Heinrich's thoughts are creating armored berserkers without limit? We should not leave this seal as it is. Can you reseal it so his thoughts cannot leak out? The restoration of a seal this great is impossible with my power. And your power in this form. I think it cannot reseal it as well. <laughs> this feeble body is so frustrating. So, what to do? I shall. I'll perform the resealing. Dark layered sealing will cut off the supply of that holy element. Alice Tromelia, you. Yotsu no chimiaku, yatsu no kase. Kono tamashi ni ruten o kinzuru fui o. The resealing of Heinrich's soul is performed. Hmm. With this, we can relax for the time being. Heinrich's thoughts won't leak out of this seal. But why did Elias seal the hero of legend? Further, for Heinrich's thoughts to be stained with hatred. Elias, he adored you so much and you treated him like this. Have you really not figured it out? And that you played a part in it, Alice Stromelia? Black Alice, I feel this is the first time I've seen your true face. <laughs> we resemble each other, you and I. The course of our lives up to now, and the path that we follow ahead. Look, she's trying to connect with you. You don't have to be a jerk about it. I pray that is not the case. Yeah, yeah, just a couple of mouths being assholes to each other. <clears throat> I don't know where to ask where these two resemble each other. Asking Alice Stromelia, I don't think she'd give me an answer. I'm somehow not fully at ease with it, but this resolves it, doesn't it? That armored berserker won't appear anymore, right? Yes. The tasks we must do here are finished. Next up, finally, is the Mao Castle. Right, so then, let's go. There's just one thing left for us to do on this monster continent. We march on the Maol castle and have Alice reinstated as the Maol. Probably many hardships await us, but all the same, that is no excuse to yield. Okay. That's that. And that concludes our business in Helgondo, with the exception of the Mao Castle in the next part. But I'm also making an Elias side for this event here. It breaks my rules since there's no gameplay difference herein, but I'll make an exception for the character development. This is an important event for the Elias side too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.